everyone, this is presentation number four entitled Digging Down to Bedrock. And the first thing that I want you to understand is in network marketing, much like anything else, you have to commit to learning. Uh, discouragement happens to many new distributors in a company that get involved and go too fast, try and go too fast. And you got to understand that you can't cut hair, do surgery, fix a car, or ride a bike, or anything else for that matter, without learning how to do it first. And this business is no different. So consider your first two to six weeks in the business a training cycle getting ready for your first month in business, which will come after your training cycle two to six weeks later. So what I'm going to do is explain depth and momentum with the high-rise analogy. And if you've ever noticed, when a high-rise is being built, it takes months and months to rise out of the ground. But once it gets above the ground, it goes up relatively fast. And it's the same thing in network marketing. When you start to sponsor your first five serious people, you're digging the foundation of your building alone with a shovel or a spade. Once you enlist the help of others and you hit the second level by teaching people to sponsor, there are more and more people helping you and you've got the equivalent of a bulldozer. When you teach your group how to teach, then you've hit bedrock because you've got 125 people helping you and you've got major momentum. It's not just yourself building anymore. So with a solid foundation, you can now start to build up and drive for serious, serious momentum. So when you grow to four levels deep in your organization, in other words, you sponsor someone who sponsors someone who sponsors someone, it means you're starting to become visible and your building will now rise rapidly. Since this is the case, if you've been in the business for several months and just don't see anything happening yet, don't get discouraged. Understand that the foundation is still under construction and you'll get there soon. Don't be like the gold prospector that spent years and years digging and quit six inches from the main vein. You never know when your business is going to explode and you want to be there to collect that revenue and the, and the fruits of your labor. So depth in this case is key. Hitting bedrock for a stable foundation is key. Think about a building that was built upon the sand. Remember the salesperson that sponsored 100 people wide? He basically had 100 people on his first level, and he may have sponsored 100, but he's nowhere near on stable ground unless he starts to build depth. And he'll never get to the sky unless he starts to build depth. And you don't necessarily have to be four levels deep with all five of your initial distributors, just one leg, four levels deep, and you're on your way to build, building upward very, very quickly. So that concludes that presentation, and, and we're kind of at a crossroads. For anyone not yet involved in a network marketing business, there's no need really to go further at this point because by now you know that financial freedom comes from residual income. We went over that in the intro. Network marketing provides the ability to produce residual income part-time with what we're showing you, with, which is simple system. And network marketing is not like a second job or something where you're just earning income like direct sales it's like a rental property you put the work in and the rent comes in whatever you're doing it frees you up so network marketing is not sales it's a sharing business when it comes to the product and, it, and you also look for people that are looking for better lives for themselves and you give them the opportunity to do better for themselves professional network marketers never sell or convince and last and most importantly if we can do it you can do it and we're here to help. So the next step is if you're interested in building a large or small residual income stream to produce financial freedom either full or part time, just get back with whoever sent you this training and let them know. They'll get you information on a specific business and you can go from there and make your decision. If you're not interested at this point, just let the person who sent you here know also so that we can continue to look for someone else to round out our key five partners that you've learned about. So either answer is completely fine and, and we'll respect it either way. Now for those who are already involved, the next presentation deals with identifying your distributor's level of seriousness and determining which five distributors out of the many that you sponsor that you will work with personally. Thanks so much. See you there.